and sugar plums welcome back to my channel in today's video ways I'm gonna bring you uh, something that is completely unique and very very beautiful I'm gonna make a two-in-one vase basically it, when you turn it on one side it's gonna be one vase and if you turn it on the other side it's gonna look like completely different so guys I hope you enjoy this video and then guys I hope you are being safe and staying safe and most of all guys I hope you are staying very positive so we're gonna go ahead and jump into that tutorial and then hopefully this video will distract you and keep you you know a little bit and give you a little bit of happiness so this is the chargers I'm gonna be using I got them um, back then in I think it was like either a no November or December and never used them so like you are seeing right now they are red in color I wanted to go ahead and paint one um, metallic gold and the other one metallic silver because like I mentioned before I'm gonna do a two-in-one vase so and also I went and cut out a strip of uh, cardboard and then I sprayed it in um, uh, rose gold uh, metallic I just do two just in case you know a uh, backup but I'm just only gonna use one so you see me rolling it over it's just to get the round shape so I went and glue it in the middle and then left an opening just uh, so I can have the flower you know in that opening right there so what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna go ahead and use the rose gold uh, mesh um, bling wrap that I got from totally the dazzled and I'm gonna use that co to cover uh, the cardboard uh, that's why I spray painted, uh, spray painted it metallic um, rose gold because guys <laughs> believe it or not I'm running out of material and you know with the whole craziness that's going outside everything is closed you can't buy stuff so I'm trying to do as many as DIYs that I can with whatever I have left at home so be patient with me guys and I hope whatever I make you'll be happy and you know distract you a little bit you know so after um, we finish adding the bling wrap this is what it's gonna be looking like now to cover the side where uh, that's showing like the glow I'm gonna use that um, ribbon that I had and I've been using before guys like I mentioned I cannot go out to buy new stuff because the stores are closed so I'm gonna go ahead and use that only at the bottom part right there just to cover the rough part of the cardboard now after we finish this is what it's gonna be looking like now to finish the inside part I'm gonna go ahead and use those uh, little um, sky blue um, stone that I had those are like little gemstone basically they are I'm gonna go ahead and you saw me use them before in the I think it's it's in the totally dazzle uh, video that I used uh, them before and they are so beautiful guys I had a bag of them so I have a bunch left so I'm like I'm gonna go ahead and use them three quarter on the inside of uh, the vase basically on both sides just because I didn't want the vase to be so to be too heavy um, because the chargers are like you know that, that weird uh, shape so if you are square it will be perfectly fine because it will be able to stand but anyway so that's what I did so I just use hot glue to glue them and then after I finish um, adding them this is what the inside of the vase if you're looking on the inside it's gonna be looking like now we're gonna go ahead and flip it on its side so we're gonna do the gold part first and basically I'm gonna be using hot glue and a6000 nothing new here guys that's what I use all the time so I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, some large filigree that I had and some little uh, flower bud filigree as well um, for this so I'm gonna go ahead with the large filigree and they are in uh, the same gold um, color um, I'm gonna go ahead and use both E6000 and hot glue to glue them all around the edge of the um, charger and then we're gonna go ahead and place the little um, flower filigree in between each one of the large one if that makes any sense <laughs> anyway you'll be seeing what I'm doing right now and also guys I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward most of them so just to shorten the video a little bit so um, like I'm saying I just placed you know the big one and then we went and placed the little flower filigree in the in between each one of the big ones so and then after that I went and spray paint them both the side again to make sure the colors stay nice and vibrant so after that I'm gonna go ahead and use this beautiful uh, gold and diamond and pearl um, brooch that I got also from totally dazzled and I went and removed the little uh, pin that was on the back and then I'm gonna use those little flower um, uh, butterfly filigree I'm sorry um, 
also in the center now what I'm gonna be doing right now I'm gonna go ahead and find the center that's why I put the butterfly so I make sure that I have the center of the the charger and I'm gonna use a good amount of E6000 and hot glue to make sure you know the brooch will stay you know nice and glued to the plate I mean to the charger or plate whatever you want to call it so this is what it's gonna be looking like now I'm gonna go ahead and like I'll uh, use a uh, six um, butterfly filigree and do like a circle around that brooch and then after that we're gonna go ahead and use some um, little loose diamond gem to do the body of the butterflies and we'll also you will use a little flower bud um, um, to make the antenna of the butterfly so I'm going to go ahead and let you watch this podcast and then I'll be right back to finish the tutorial with you. Okay guys, as, as you can see, I also placed some pearl in, you know, on the wings of the butterfly just to make them pop out. And then we're using this uh, a strings of iridescent small pearl, I'm going to go ahead and cut um, a few of like those strings just like, you know, this side, the same size, in, um, I mean the same length. And then I'm going to go ahead and create like almost like a sunburst. Uh, and I'm going to use them starting in the middle of each butterfly. We're going to go ahead and glue on uh, those strings of pearl. You, you know, make it like a little, you know, squarely shape like I'm doing right now. And it's best if you use like an e E6000 to do that just to make sure that it's it's less messy. So, and use the E6000 to have the low nozzle. So that's what I did. I went and glue each one of the strings of pearls um, in between the butterflies. And then to make them pop a, a bit more, I went like a quarter water up um, starting at the bottom where the butterflies are I'm gonna sort of just go ahead and use some E6000 glue as well and make almost like a little leaf shape um, um, you know at the bottom part and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the same loose uh, diamond gems that I use on the for the body of the butterfly so those are very small gems so this is gonna be so beautiful so I went and did that for each one of the strings of pearls now this is what it looks like guys after we finish adding you know the strings of pearl and the uh, the loose gems and it looks very beautiful now to complete the the my little sunburst looking uh, side of the gold part I'm just gonna go ahead and do like almost like a almost like a triangle you know shape we don't need it to be perfect because I don't want anything to be like matchy matchy I, I think you know if you when you have something if you make like one less perfect than the, than the other one it looks more uh, beautiful that's just my opinion <laughs> so so I, I went in between each one of those uh, strings of pearls and added like a little almost like triangle like um, bed of pearls and this is what it's, it looked like after I finished just doing that you know to complete the um, the side I'm just gonna go ahead and add the same string of pearls at the very top edge of the this the side just to complete the whole look and this is what the gold part look like now what we're gonna be doing this is done we're gonna go ahead and flip it on the other uh, side which is the silver me metallic silver part and then we're gonna go ahead and do another design completely so that way if you choose you know to put the gold part then you can have a different look from the silver one now I use this little plate uh, for my glam uh, um, clock wall clock and then um, 
um those are very cheap uh, i think the box came with like 12 of them it's it's not even a dollar so and also i'm gonna go ahead and use uh, the uh, silver uh, diamond chin and then I, i'm gonna go ahead and glue it all around the low plate and then i'm gonna use the same large filigree and i'm gonna glue that in the center because i want my plate to stay clear so the because i'm gonna create a flower in the center so i i went and glue my my uh, silver uh filigree in the middle and then i'm gonna use like a bowl and those are like a little filigree too because you have like little holes in it and then i'm gonna go ahead and put it in the center of the large filigree and then i'm gonna put like a one single pearl in the center at uh, of the ball the little filigree ball so after we finish doing that this is what it's gonna be looking like now to glue it in the on the plate basically i'm just gonna go ahead and use e6000 and hot glue and and i'm gonna because of the shape of it i went and create like a flower in the center of it and then using another beautiful brooch from totally dazzle i'm gonna go ahead and put it in the center of my flower to complete my beautiful silver diamond perfectly beautiful flower and this is what it looks got like guys it looks so beautiful it's very glittery and shiny if you like bling this side is definitely for you now i have those little skewers and um i went and take like 10 of them and then spray paint them metallic gold and i'm gonna use two in between each one of the flower petals and i'm gonna use them like this one you know shorter than the other one that's what i want to do just to create like a not a sunburst but like a different shape now i also have those little flower petals that i bought like a while ago and those fairly large loose gems i'm gonna go ahead and glue the loose gem inside the flower petal just to give it more you know bling looking so i'm just gonna do four and i'm gonna place each one of them at like in different the the corner one top bottom and the, the two side of the vase for that side and then we're gonna go ahead and place that and just hot glue them to the plate after we finish doing that we're gonna go ahead and go with the same uh iridescent uh uh pearl um and then i'm gonna go ahead and go and create a sunburst again the same the same shape that i did for the other side i'm gonna do the same thing for this side with the same pearl but this this time i'm gonna go ahead and do another string of the sunburst uh I'm also going in the middle of the two squares that i have um with the diamond chain this time and we're gonna go ahead and place uh uh, strings of the diamond chain in between each one of the two screwers and then that way we'll have a better looking sunburst that's going to be different from the other side now after we finish adding it this is what it's going to be looking like it's looking so beautiful so shiny guys i love 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 this side too so after we finish doing that basically what we're gonna be doing because i don't want to add like a lot of pearl on it i want this side to be basically like diamond looking and you know silver so i have those little uh, petal bud that i um uh, flower bud that i have bud uh a while ago so i'm gonna go ahead and take like five strings just five string and each strings have like three little branch in it so i'm gonna go ahead and thread it to uh, through the little filigree ball that i have and cut the excess and then i'm gonna go ahead and add uh, you know a little dab of glue at both the top and the bottom so that way it's not gonna come out and again it have like three little branch in it so i'm gonna go ahead and take each one of the branch like and put a tiny little bit of glue in at the very you know pearl uh, and then i'm gonna glue them like separately like on the plate itself and i'm gonna do that for all five one of the balls so after we finish adding our low um little jam um, ball um, bud <laughs> flower bud inside you know the flower because it's a flower that we're creating right so this is what it's gonna be looking like and also to finish this side i'm gonna do the same thing that i did with the other one i'm gonna go ahead and place the strings of pearl all around this now i'm i also have the little uh flower filigree um but this time i closed them a little bit more because the other one were like more open i closed them and placed two of them in between those two those four uh flower that i had before and this is what the vase look like after we are done with it it looks uh, very beautiful and very different on each side and to make the stand for it i have those those are core screw um 
corkscrew uh, i got those from ikea i came with a pack of three and i had those for a long time guys i never used them i went and spray paint them uh both uh silver and uh gold because i want the side that's silver to be on the part that's silver and the side that's gold to be on the gold side so that way so i went and glue uh the vase on top of it and then to make sure that the glue doesn't show where we glue it i went and take um uh, three filigree uh gold and three uh silver one and bend them over like almost like a halfway and then we're gonna glue them at the bottom part like so and that's it the vase is complete com and completely done guys it looks so beautiful so different it based on your mood you know if you feel like gold today pearl and gold classic you can put the side of the gold in pearl and then tomorrow you want to change the vase you should just turn it to the other side and you have the beautiful blend glam looking flower silver looking i absolutely love this vase guys i did not think it was gonna turn that beautiful i absolutely love it and because it's a unique shape i absolutely love it love it love it so guys i hope you love this video as well guys i'm trying my best to find diys to do for you guys based on what i have at home hopefully the whole crisis is gonna pass over soon again guys i'm praying for all of you guys please be safe please stay safe guys both you and your family i love you love you so so much guys and guys i will really really appreciate guys if you go ahead and click like on this video leave me a comment guys and tell me which side that you love better and also guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so don't forget to click on the notification bell to be notified on all my new video i will see you guys soon maybe next week to bring you another video and hopefully i can go ahead and do more stuff with what i have at home so guys i will see you soon i love you love you love you and as always guys please be blessed be safe and stay safe and stay blessed i love you i'll see you soon bye Mwah.